For this design you'll need white, black, orange, yellow, light and medium green, light purple and a regular purple, a turtle stencil, a number two round brush, a number five round brush, a filbert brush, a one half inch flat brush, and a sponge or dauber. Begin by loading your number five round brush with white and making two large ovals connected in the center of the forehead. These are going to be your eyes. I usually make one of them larger than the other because it gives it a little bit of a comical look. Next load your small filbert brush with orange and make it curve over the top of the eyes that comes down to the outside of the eyebrows. Fill in this half circle with orange, but leave a space between your alien jellyfish and the eyebrows because you're going to fill that in with green. Load your half inch flat brush from the light and medium green, so it's double loaded, and then zigzag it back and forth along the bottom of that orange half circle. This is going to be the furry looking edge of your jellyfish alien. Load your number five round brush with a combination of light purple and dark purple and start making tendrils that come down from your alien jellyfish over the eyes. This is a little tricky if you're working on an adult because of the wrinkles around the eyes. The skin isn't as taut, but it shouldn't be a problem with a child. Hold your turtle stencil in place and use either a sponge or a dauber which has been loaded with yellow to create your alien texture. Outline the eyes, the curved top of your alien, and also some of the jagged green section. Because the black is a really intense color, we probably don't want to put any outlines on the tendrils that are hanging down over the eyes. You can highlight them later, but I wouldn't outline them in black. Add white highlights along the top of the curve, also along the green area, and a few to those tendrils hanging down. To decorate the background around your alien, you could either use a stencil with some different colors, or you can make dots and little starbursts in different colors. That's it for today, and I hope you enjoyed our tutorial and that you can use it at your events in the future. Bye-bye!